name is Mandeep. In this question, we'll vertically scan the answer choices, find the difference among the choices, and then eliminate the wrong ones. So if you look at the first two to three words of answer choices, in A and B, we could see there is a singular plural verb error, suggest versus suggests. Again in C, we have suggest. In D and E, after claims, we have a comma suggesting, comma suggesting. Now if you look at A and B, we have singular plural verb error. That means we have to see the subject. Go back to the main sentence. It is a surge in new home sales and a drop in weekly unemployment claims. So till claims we have a subject. And when we join two nouns with the help of and, that makes the subject plural. That means we need suggest. So eliminate B. Now in D, if you observe till claims we have a subject and in D, after subject, we have a comma. The moment you see a comma after subject, search for second comma. And after second comma, we must have a verb. In option D, we do not have a second comma. That means verb is missing in option D. So D is eliminated. Similarly, in E, after claims, we have a comma. Means after subject, we have a comma. Again, there is no second comma. That means again, verb is missing in option E. Now, if you look at A and C, if you compare the last few words, it says previously thought and it says thought by some analyst. So whenever we use done by somebody, so it's thought by somebody, this is passive construction. So when we have active versus passive construction, active is always preferred or we say passive construction is avoidable. So we can eliminate option C. Hence A is the correct answer. Thank you.